Good morning and welcome to Wayne's Lock Shop and Lock Reference. Today we're going to be installing the AD400 series networked wireless lock using the major manufacturing jig to go ahead and do so. This is a very good integrated lock that offers many options for the customers. One of the hottest components on the market for school systems right now offering so many different options including multi-card, pin factor authentication, uh, multi-technology, open architect solutions, uh, 900 megahertz wireless capabilities, and much more. First of all, we're going to show our team. This is our crew. This is myself, John Nolan with Reliance Security, Aaron, who's with John, and Josh Westmoreland, who's with myself. We had quite a few of these locks to install, as you can see here. This is quite a project, and it, in, it definitely took quite a bit of installing and learning to make sure we understood how this product worked. First thing we're going to go over is the major HIT66280 installation. These are the tools that you're going to need, hole saws, uh, regular drill bits, and non-spade bits. Okay. One of the first things that you're going to need to do is follow the instructions and move these pieces around to where they're going to be, where they need to be for your application. This is the hinge pocket. So we're taking the major manufacturing instructions and we're actually breaking them down and showing how those instructions applied out in the field. You can see the first step is to install this plate that goes in the mortise body pocket and then the jig actually centers and mounts on top of that post. You can see just like so, the HIT66 sits right here on the alignment fixture. This is what the jig looks like when it's actually completely installed on the door. Now between, depending on your application, you may or may not need to use the hole saw to drill out for cylindrical lever prep or the mortise body one, this is the actual mortise body one, so we're not going to be using that. We're going to be using all mortise body prep here. Here you can see that we need a 7 16 inch drill bit drilled halfway through from both sides. This prevents you from blowing out the wood on wood doors. On metal doors, it's a little bit different. Uh, you still follow the same drilling pattern, but it's, it's just a little bit different on metal doors. And we did both wood and metal. Again, we're going to continue those 7 16 inch holes for the mounting bolts and mounting locations. This is going to be the other side of the jig on the outside. Now we're going to need to drill the 3 quarter inch drill locations. So the three quarter inch drill bit, you can either use a hole saw or they do actually make a three quarter inch drill bit for this application. This is going to be one of the holes is going to be for the door position sensor. And then one of them is going to be for this location right here uh, where we're actually going to pull some of the wires through. Here's Josh using a three quarter inch high speed steel drill bit as opposed to the hole saw because the hole saw was not removing the plug. Then we're going to drill the four 3 8 inch holes located around the outside. And you're just about done with the project. It looks like we actually had to do um, the, uh, we actually had to take the two and a quarter inch hole saw and drill that out. Apparently that was spec'd out for this particular application per the manufacturer specifications. Now, as we take the jig off, you can see that the door is prepped and that one position is left in place. Once we take that off, the door is pretty much prepped and ready to go. We'll refer back to major manufacturing's information and instructions here to continue the process in case we missed anything. It's a little bit difficult to capture every single picture and every single drill location on uh, when we're out in the field like this. Here's one of the angled holes. This is for the door position sensor that's actually going to go all the way down and through. This is why it's so important to make sure that you have this jig when you're installing this lock. I could not imagine trying to install this lock without this jig. It would be an absolute and utter complete nightmare to be able to do this without it. Here you go. Once the door is prepped, we slip the mortise body in, do the installation. If you'd like to see an installation video on the lock itself, please look up my video of the Schlag AD400 series installation mortise body. Here, Josh is going to put that jig on the door, and we're actually going to get live video footage. 
Now a couple of things that I want to show and demonstrate here is you'll notice that he has a nice cart set up and we've got a lot of Milwaukee pack out uh, tools and we also have drill set up with different drill bits already attached in them so it did actually call for installing or using the two and an eighth inch hole saw on this one so that's what we did he then has another drill chucked up with a three quarter inch drill bit and then we have one chucked up with this 7 16 inch drill bit as well. You can see that it goes on very easily and these holes are drilled extremely quickly. We also have a longer 12 inch drill bit to drill that door position sensor out. The jig is taken off, the two screws are taken out of the pos mounting post, and that's it ladies and gentlemen, you are done. No way to install that faster than using a nice quality jig. For more information, check out the website below.